Hello, my name is Leno, or like some people, me, like to call me Cryptic Leno, and welcome to my first review. Well, actually, I already had a review on here, but what with the new series launch, I decided to take that one down and start fresh. Well, anyways, intro. The album that I'm going to be reviewing today is uh, was released at least two months ago. Um, it's called, uh, entitled, The Carnage Ending by Sinister. So in this album, you won't see any of the past members uh, from previous albums. Ad basically asked his members from his other band, Absurd Universe, to come in and uh, record the Carnage ending. The new lineup still keeps, if not all, of the Sinister elements uh, that makes up what Sinister is. This album has 16 songs, five of which are covers by Celtic Frost, Possessed, Massacre, Whiplash, and Blood Feast. According to some sources, this album picks up where The Silent Howling left off, and I've heard The Silent Howling, and it's a really good uh, album. The Carnage Ending is a pummeling, savage death metal assault filled with good, solid riffs, incisive solo leads, uh, with the occasional melody to break down the monotony. It has some keyboards. Um, yeah, to, you know, add some atmosphere to some songs, uh, the darker ones, but, but nothing too crazy. In my opinion, this album sounds like uh, some old school death metal out of the 90s. Old school. The tracks that are more memorable for me are um, Transylvania, City of the Damned, because uh, of the good riffs uh, and the whole atmosphere of the song. Regarding the imagery for its potential to make your head bang. Defamatory content, because after the intro, the the sound is very old school, which I really really dig. And my favorite song on the album, which so happens to be the Final Destroyer, uh, which is the last song on the album. Well, not really the last song, but the last song that Sinister plays after you know the covers. The Final Destroyer has everything I like from old school death metal: great riffs, unforgettable melody, good drums, and solos. Awesome. One critique though, I did not care for the loudspeaker effect in the background for some of the songs. But overall, The Carnage Ending is a well-produced uh, and well-written album. I'd definitely go out and buy this album. I rate this album 4 out of 5. Well, that's it for this review. Don't forget to subscribe up here. Leave your comments down there. And uh, also, uh, every Wednesday, we're going to be uploading uh, either a sketch, a metal sketch, a review, or a an interview with a band, local of uh, Southern California, or California for that matter. If you guys want to participate in, in this, uh, I'm going to, for every review that I do, I'm going to start saying uh, lyrics and what I want you guys to do is try to guess the name of the song and uh, which band it's from. So this is the first time I'm doing this so here it goes. Just what I saw in my old dreams were the reflections of my mind warped and staring back at me because in my dreams it's always there. The evil face that twists my mind and brings me to despair. Be the first one to get there because I this 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 is very very simple. Each review, the the songs, the lyrics are gonna be a little bit they're gonna get a little bit more underground and a little bit more obscure. So they're gonna be harder to guess. So go to the description below, uh, go to the Facebook fan page, Metal Load. And uh, just leave your answers there, and I'll be putting up whoever is the winner on the next episode.